Hello, Geminis. I'm going to get right into the reading. So whatever the cards want to say, whatever wants to come out here. Sense of belonging, home, safe space. Clubs, parties, social life. Willpower, strength, confidence. Right off the bat, I'm getting that somebody really misses you, but they're trying to distract themselves through social interaction. So this could be mutual friends. This could just be them over drinking. They might be, they, yeah, they might be drinking a lot right now. There could be drugs for some, but I'm just getting, I'm getting, you know, social life, clubs, parties. It's like this person is just going out. They're trying to be strong. They're trying to to take control of the situation. They're trying to have this willpower. I feel like this person was really depressed over you for a long time. It's like they just kind of feel like their home is with you. You know, they belong with you. You are their safe space. But I think right now I feel like they've been going through a phase where they've just been so upset over you where it's like they're they're trying to distract themselves with um with substances, with um you know, partying, going out, uh, different people, just whatever they can do to kind of take their mind off you. We have spying, soulmate, past life connection, soul contract, stagnation, complacency. Yeah, I feel like this is a past life connection too. You guys might have soul contracts. Um, this is someone from your soul group, it looks like. With stagnation and complacency, let's see, and then we have make your move, green light. I feel like... I feel like this person is like they've just been kind of spying on you. They've been kind of watching. I feel like for some of you too, there could be there could be double meanings to these cards. So it could also mean that you're going out and you're kind of maybe you're the one that's trying to keep your mind off this person, you know, take it how it resonates. But for some of you, it's like you're tired of being depressed. You're tired of waiting. You're tired of being stagnant. You're tired of being in your head wondering if this is ever going to come together so it's like you're going out with your friends you're doing stuff you're traveling or you're planning on traveling and it's like now this person is noticing you they're watching this they're spying on you they're, they notice that that you know that you're not just waiting around for them anymore they do someone does want to take it slow but they are wanting to make some kind of move on you they are want to, wanting to make some kind of effort if third party distraction karmic partner Anger, miscommunication, finances, and career. So it could be something going on with them at work too, like a like arguments with management or just just toxicity at work. Dreams, visions, telepathy, open, honest communication, message. I feel like their spirit guides are pushing them to communicate with them and send a message to you though they are they are pushing them to come forward I feel like some of them might feel like maybe you this is a this is not for everybody but for some of them you might have kind of made them jealous like you might have um I feel like some of them have this kind of fear that maybe you're going to meet somebody else or maybe you're going out with other people because maybe it's kind of like they don't trust the energy. It's like you were you were maybe kind of stagnant for a while. It's like you weren't really doing much. You weren't really being social. And then it's like all of a sudden you're going out and you're traveling. And now they're kind of wondering. They're like, oh, does do they have like a partner that they're traveling with or are they trying to open themselves up to meet people? Are they joining dating apps? Like somebody is kind of, you know, there's some kind of anger or kind of jealousy, miscommunication here involving a third party, mental instability. Yeah, for some, it's like it's their anxiety too. It's like their, um, just their, par oh, sorry, their paranoia, fear of commitment, vulnerability, receptivity, apology, regret. I feel like somebody wants to apologize to you for, for being afraid of commitment, for not, for letting this be one-sided. Some of them might have lashed out with mental instability here too. Some of them might have said or did things that they didn't mean as a result of some kind of, um, some kind of like mental illness here or just anxiety or they might have made the wrong assumption about you or about the connection there might have been some kind of mental issues that were tied to their fear of commitment their fear of abandonment you know they they might have been a little bit too hasty they might have said or did things that they didn't mean and I feel like somebody's wanting to be vulnerable they're wanting to apologize they're wanting to express regret I feel like they're kind of wanting to make a, a show of it too. publicity social media 
And it might also be that you're posting certain things and it's getting this person's attention where you might be posting memes or something like on Facebook and this person's like, oh, like, like, oh, like they, they feel this way. I didn't know they felt that way. Like they might be, they might be having some kind of clarity due to something that you've, um, that you've been posted, not necessarily recent or in the future, but I just mean things from the past. It's like, they might, they might be looking at your social media and getting some kind of clarity, or it's like, if you're writing songs or you're just putting some kind of, um, art or something out there, it's like they're, they're finding meaning in it basically is what I'm getting. If you're on some kind of platform, they're, they're seeing meaning with that. I also feel like for some, it, it does mean that they want to apologize and be vulnerable and they want to show you off to the world. They don't want to hide you. Some of them might have kind of hidden you from friends or family or they, they were afraid of being judged. And it's like now they just they want to own this. They want to make this relationship public. They don't want to they don't want to let anything get in the way of this again. Some could have a sex, some could have like a sex addiction for some. I feel like there could have been like a karmic situation as well where they were kind of addicted to this karmic who was seducing them or they were, there might have been some kind of issue here. But I feel like the divine is intervening and clearing that up. We have divine inter intervention, synchronicity, choosing their words wisely, planning their approach, fast moving energy, chaos, sudden turn of events. I feel like the divine had to kind of plan this behind the scenes. It wasn't one of those things where they could just come right out with it. It's like they had to really work with this person. They might have had to be really careful with your person to make sure that there was that stability so that they didn't overwhelm them and just completely shut their spirit guides out, but also not letting them fall back into old toxic patterns either. You know, they made sure this could have been somebody who used to be kind of like a like a fuck boy or a fuck girl type honestly and, and it's like the divine is intervening and like being like no like that was that was codependency that wasn't real love like they're helping them through that they're helping them find that balance in their life shyness fear of rejection true love potential life partner hidden truth confusion uncertainty new love faded encounter submissive weak willed Love offer commitment. Adventure, honeymoon, vacation. Some of them are afraid that you're going to date somebody else because they know that you're the adventurous type. They know that you're, it's like you're this type, you have this kind of energy. You know what I mean? Where you don't like to, you might not be very, very patient or it's like you don't like to be stagnant. You know, you're somebody who's more adventurous, more of a free spirit. Like they kind of, some of them, it's like they're coming to this realization that you are the person for them. They are a little bit shy and afraid of rejection, but I almost feel like some for some, it's kind of like they're wanting to make a love offer, but they don't know if you're seeing somebody else or if you're still open to them. It's kind of like they're in their head about it. Tell me more about this third party. because there And there could actually be a third party who's also wanting to make you a love offer or some kind of commitment at the same time. Sorry. I feel like too, like with his submissive set weak willed card, this is also like to me in this context, at least what I'm reading, it's kind of a very sexual card too, where it's like this person is like submitting to somebody. So it's kind of like this person kind of knows that they did not come through with that like daddy energy. You know what I mean? Like they did not come through with that like, you know, daddy or mommy energy or whatever, whatever you want to call it. Like they didn't take control in the right ways. You know what I mean? Like they didn't step up. They were not the emperor or the empress in the past. Um, they they didn't lead the connection they didn't come for it they didn't come after you you know what I mean like they didn't make that effort um and so I think there's some fear too that somebody else you see how like this is it's like they're both very assertive like they're both kind of claiming each other they're both very confident very seductive it's like this person has this kind of um fear of rejection and shyness and, and just like this kind of worry that that this might be more your type or, or also just that, you know, someone's going to come in and do that. And it's like, you're going to be, sub, you know, submissive to that because it's like, you want that. You want to be claimed. You want, you know, that love offer. You want, you know, the honeymoon, vacation, adventure. It's like, you want to travel with someone. You want to do all these different things. And I feel like if this person hasn't gotten it together. They're like, they're kind of afraid now. They're like, well, what if somebody else is, is stepping up and being more confident than I've been able to be? 
Five of Swords, Two of Swords reversed, Ancient of the Newt, the Star, the Nine of Cups reversed. It's like they're kind of back and forth where it's like they're trying to, like they see clearly now, um, they do feel like there is competition and they are planting the seeds because they want to make this dream come true. They feel like they they kind of, they, they're afraid that you're going to meet somebody if you haven't already, basically. So they're wanting to come in quick before that happens. The Empress, the Wheel. Yeah, they're afraid that this Emperor or Empress is just going to end this karmic cycle with them and just be with somebody where there's more of a mutual balance. There's more, you know, mutual love, stability. It's kind of like this person. I don't get a bad vibe from your person, but I get the vibe of them being, it's like they want to be like a real man or a real woman. They really do want that. They want to be those things, but it's like they don't know, they don't fully know how to be those things. Or it's like they don't have the guidance that they need to figure out how to step up and lead and be assertive in the right ways. You know, so they're kind of afraid that while they're trying to get it together and they're trying to work on themselves and they're trying to, you know, step into this emperor or empress role for you they're kind of afraid that you're just going to get impatient and you're going to you're going to you know someone else is going to sweep you off your feet and give you all the energy and love that they're not giving you but that's kind of on them too because they really need to communicate these things with you they can't just be working on these things behind the scene and then just expect to be able to come through whenever they feel like it whenever they feel like they're finally ready you know, this is somebody, like I said, it's like they're not a bad person, but it's just like they're kind of, they. I, I feel like they're shy. I feel like they're maybe um, getting a neurodivergent energy too, which is, which is a good thing, I actually think. Um, I'm getting a energy of afraid of rejection, afraid of abandonment, kind of very sweet. You know, they, they're well-intentioned, but sometimes I feel like this person slips up or they just don't know how to communicate properly or they don't, even if they want to be assertive, it's like they just don't know how to be assertive. They don't have the proper guidance that they need to, to figure out how to be the person that they want to be completely, but they're trying to figure it out. But yeah, I feel like they've either seen you with somebody else or they just have it in your head that maybe you are dating somebody else or that you're going to be at some point if they don't get it together. So it's like there's this fear that you're just going to wrap this cycle up and go for somebody where it's more mutual, more balanced. Yeah, they have this huge fear that you're just going to move on quickly because they've been taking so long. Knight of Pentacles, it's like very stable, very loyal, very grounded, but they take a long time to get to where they're going. And Eight of Wands is more of a passionate, free-spirited energy. It's somebody who moves kind of quickly. And so I think they're kind of seeing you in this energy where it's like they're trying to work on themselves and they're trying to get past their shyness, their you know, fears of rejection. They're trying to learn how to communicate better, but they're like, well, they see you as this free spirit. So they're like, well, they don't want to tie you down and they feel like you might not wait for them. What are they going to do next though? Like, are they, what are they, what are they planning on, on or thinking about doing next here? They want to fight for this. They do see long-term commitment, maybe marriage with you. There's a lack of communication though, but I do feel like they want to break that. They want to, what are they making a judgment call about? Four of Pentacles. I feel like they keep choosing to hold on to this too. I feel like maybe people in their life tell them like just, you know, you guys aren't compatible or this or that. And it's like they make a judgment call. Like they do choose to hold on to you. Like they do want to hold on to this. They do want to make these promises to you. I feel like they are nostalgic. They are trying to come out of hermit energy. The moon, the king of swords, five of cups, ace of cups, ten of cups. I also feel like they're, this could be them just hoping you let go of this third party, hoping you leave this behind so you can have a new start with them. I also feel like it's them knowing they have to sacrifice something, like they might have to sacrifice this King of Swords energy and be vulnerable and be open with you if they want this to work. And they're just kind of torn because it's like they want the fairy tale. They want the happily ever after with you. They want that Ten of Cups with you, but they know that they have a lot of healing to do. They know that they're not quite ready. They know that this is going to be a battle and they're just kind of afraid that you're going to move on in the meantime. So it's, it's almost like they just kind of end up getting stuck in their head 
And then it's like they try to, you know, find the knowledge. They try to figure out what to do next, how to pursue this. Page of Cups. Six of Wands. It does look like they are getting to that. It's kind of an up and down roller coaster, but it does look like they are wanting to manifest this. For some, they might actually try to manifest an opportunity to meet you somewhere socially. Like if they know that you go to a certain club or they know that you um, you have yoga on Friday nights or they just something like that. They might just be like, oh, like I just happened to be here walking my dog or, you know, um, I don't know why I was going to say walking my cat. <laughs> um but it's one of those things where they might try to manifest. It's like they want to meet you in a public place. It's like they want to manifest this opportunity someplace where you guys can just have coffee or you can just talk um, or just some kind of social event, social setting. So it's like they can just kind of pretend like they bumped into you because for some, they don't know where you stand. They don't know if you're single or in a relationship with somebody. So it's kind of a back and forth energy where it's like, I do see them missing you. I do see them wanting to reach out, but then it's like, they kind of get in their head, like that fear of rejection. So there's kind of back and forth. Right now, I just feel like they're trying to kind of plot something behind the scenes. Like they're trying to, and it's kind of like studying you too, like studying your power, uh, your, your uh, patterns. I don't know why I almost said powers. <laughs> Um, maybe some, maybe that's for some of you. Maybe you guys have some powers or something over this person, especially, but, but studying your patterns because they've been an eight of swords energy and like, they don't want to stay in that eight of swords energy and sabotage this. They want to manifest an opportunity to make this move forward. But there's just this fear of like you ignoring them or you rejecting them or them not being able to see your, your facial expressions and read you, not knowing where they stand with you, just a little bit of confusion. So right now, yeah, right now where I feel like they're at is they're trying to, they're just kind of overthinking, going back and forth in their head, trying to figure out how they can manifest this opportunity to see you in person somehow, to bump into you somewhere. Um, so anyway, I hope that helps. And it's sad because it's like this person, all they would have to do is reach out. I mean, I think the love is mutual. Like, I think that, you know, I do feel like you would open up to this if they would just step into that emperor or empress role. You know, it's, it's like you are open to this, but you're you're kind of you're not sure if they're ever going to do the healing work. You're not sure anymore if they're ever going to get it together and, and pursue you. So it's like at this point, it's like you're kind of almost torn a little bit where you're like, well, I don't know what to do with this situation either. So you're kind of starting to open yourself up to new experiences, new people as well, even though you do really love and want this person. But it's like they just they need to step up. They need to take some kind of action here towards you. Um, if this resonates, please leave a comment below. It really helps me a lot. Even if you guys just leave a heart comment below, it, you know, it, it gets YouTube to promote, my, to promote my videos again. So it gets me back in the, the YouTube algorithm. It, it, you know, it helps me to continue to making these videos too, because it's kind of difficult to make when I'm, you know, if I'm not, if I'm not getting very many views, if I'm not able to get these videos out there, it makes it hard to continue. So I really do appreciate these, uh, the engagement below. And if you want a private reading, my email is dragonenchantress at awol.com. That email is right below in the description box. Thank you guys.